Welcome back to A Pinch of This and A Dash of That. And since this week is Thanksgiving, I thought I would make for you today my pork stuffing. It's a combination of um, a recipe I got from Tom's mom, but I added a little something extra on it. I'm going to heat up a, a pan and add just a little bit of oil to it. And I have a pound of ground pork, which I'm going to place in the pan and we're going to brown that up. And as it's browning, what I'm going to also add before it starts to brown is some onions, some minced onions. Because I like the way onions taste when they brown up with the meat. Okay, now that it's um, been browning up and cooking a little bit, I'm going to add some salt and pepper. and some chopped up celery. Okay, so the pork and the celery and the onions have been cooking. I added a little bit of water just to give and cover the celery and pork mixture so that the celery can have a chance to really kind of cook. And now what I did is I put together a box of stovetop stuffing. Now you're saying, stovetop stuffing, really? It has a lot of flavor in it. And for this stuffing mix, I use one pound of pork for every box of stovetop stuffing that I use. And the, the flavor that I like to use for this particular stuffing is the cornbread. If you can't find cornbread, then pork will work, but the cornbread one is really yummy. So you mix your stuffing like you would according to the box, and you're going to add that to your pork mixture. Turn off the heat and just add your stuffing. And we're going to mix that all up together and get that nice and incorporated. I've also toasted some pine nuts. Now you just put pine nuts in a, in a pan, in a hot pan, and just kind of keep turning it and turning it until it gets a nice little golden color. And now you're going to add that also to your stuffing mix. And mix everybody together. I put my uh, stuffing mix into a, a dish and now I'm just going to add a little bit of butter in the corners here. And, and so that um, the butter will melt down, keep everybody moist. And just a few more pats on top. And just stick that into the oven. I've taken the stuffing out of the oven. I had placed it in the oven 350 degrees for about half an hour. And now it's ready to go. I'm going to spoon out a little bit here on a plate. Uh-oh. Nobody saw that, right? <laughs> it fell to the floor. Okay. And now we're just going to continue scooping. <laughs> I'm going to have Candace come and taste. Want to taste this, Candace? Sure. Have a little piece there. It's nice and hot. And you got all that nice, delicious flavors mixing in there oh, together. No. Uh oh. What you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you like the flavors? This is my favorite part. The meat. The meat. <laughs> so try this type of stuffing. It's really quite easy. It's semi homemade because it's got you know, box stuffing mix, but you made the pork and everything else and the pine that's, you know, put it all together. Enjoy. 